In this video I go over the, in detail how I connected a $10 lithium ion battery from Lowe's, their Cobalt 24 volt Max series, to my laptop to run it uh, since the battery in my laptop is dead. And if you want to see how it's done, watch the video. So I have this older Asus laptop and the battery in it's dying. And when I unplug it from the wall, it only lasts for five or ten minutes on battery from the internal battery. And I looked on the Asus website and they don't sell the batteries for this laptop anymore because it's an older laptop. It's a great laptop. It works great. But um, anyways, there's um, non-OEM batteries available on Amazon and eBay. They're 20 bucks or whatever. But I don't trust those batteries since they're cheap Chinese knockoffs of the original battery. And I really don't want to burn my house down. So I'm going to make an adapter on the laser to run these cobalt 24 volt max uh, lithium ion batteries the ten dollar batteries they sell at Lowe's for their lith lithium ion cobalt tool sets but um, this is a ten dollar battery and it has probably the same capacity as the internal battery on this laptop did when it was originally a new laptop and I've done videos with these before where I've converted older tools to run off these newer batteries and uh, I've made adapters and you can see the videos and the link I'm putting up above here. And let me show you what I cut out on the laser and put together for this. So this is the pattern I cut out on the laser and I glued it together. Uh, I've made two sets. Um, but. I've glued it together and made this adapter that's going to go on top of the battery and I'll show you how that mounts to the top of the laptop in a second here. So my idea is I didn't want this to be too obtrusive when I'm using the laptop so I'm just going to mount the uh, battery so it just clips in right here on the back of the laptop with this adapter. But I need to convert the voltage to what the adapter voltage is and let me show you what the adapter voltage is. So this is the adapter. It runs an output voltage of 19 volts at 3.42 amps maximum. I'm um, not so concerned with the 3.42 amps because the converter I have will do 3 amps. And I don't think the laptop will pull that all the time just uh, when it's trying to charge the battery, which isn't going to be charging. Anyways, so let's get to the DC-DC converter I'm going to use to regulate the voltage. So this is the little converter board I'm going to use to regulate the power out of the battery down to the power that the uh, laptop needs. But it uses, let me describe this board real quick, it uses a uh, LM2596 uh, converter, a little buck converter, that will take an input voltage that's higher and convert it down and regulate it to a lower voltage. And it's adjustable with this little um, potentiometer here and you can display the input voltage on this LED display by pressing this button or you can press the out button here and it'll display the regulated output voltage and this is what I'm going to use between the battery and the laptop to make sure I don't exceed the input voltage of the laptop. So I'm measuring the adapter polarity just to verify that the uh, center pin is positive and the outer pin is the ground and also checking the voltage coming out of the adapter itself and it's running 18.8 .8 volts roughly so we're gonna hook up the battery pack to the regulator the buck converter and then um, adjust it for this voltage and what I have is a uh, old uh, adapter that I had in my junk box of a power supply that I had previously had on this laptop that died and uh, I cut the end of the cable off just to keep it in my junk, junk box just in case I needed it and here I need it. So I've connected the battery to the buck converter board and I was wrong on what these buttons did. This first button here actually turns the display on and off if you press it. Um, the second button toggles between the input voltage which it has a little LED that says in here and the output voltage which has an LED there it says out so we click it there and right now it's sitting at 16.6 .6 volts so let's adjust it for about 18 and a half volts so we can test it so 
so I'm turning it clockwise to raise the voltage on it. And this um, meter that's on there, it's not super accurate, so you can double check it with a multimeter just to see. And let's see where we're at. And this is the output voltage. Output. Hold on a second. Put the camera down. Hard to run the camera and put the probes where they need to go. Sorry about that. There's the probe. And then see the 18.3 there, 18.5 there. So I'm going to go ahead and hook this up to the laptop. Well, first I'm going to verify the connector polarity before I hook it up to the laptop so I don't blow the laptop up. So let's do that next. All right, so I've connected the connector to the um, power supply, and I'm going to verify the polarity of the uh, connector here. So the center pin should be, I'm going to stick a probe in there. The center pin should be positive, and the outer sh shield should be the ground, and it's showing the correct reading. It's not negative. So the connector is correct. Let's try and hook this straight to the uh, laptop and see what it does. So the laptop's up and running, and let's go ahead and get into it. Let's see where we're at on the battery. Well, anyways, it's showing 96% remaining. Um, as soon as I connect the connector to the laptop, let's see what it does. Oh, look at that. It went into AC mode, entertainment mode, and it's showing it's charging. Oh, get some focus there. So it's running at about 18.3 volts. Now I'm curious to see how low we can actually drop this input voltage before the laptop uh, does not like it anymore. So I'm going to start lowering the input voltage until the laptop says it's not charging anymore. We're at 18 volts. 17. And it, it's switching between battery mode and uh, AC mode at 17 volts. So I'm going to go ahead and start turning it back up. See where it comes back online at. So right around 17 and a half volts. So I'm going to run it up to about 17 8 that way we get maximum utilization out of the energy stored in this uh, lithium ion battery and then next thing I'm going to do is mount it to the back of the screen and what we're going to do is we're going to use command strips so that it just gets mounted to the back of the screen that way and it doesn't uh, affect the laptop all right so this is where I've mounted it I've used the little command strips on it and what it allows me to do is I can open the laptop up and then if I want to see what the battery storage on the uh, cobalt battery is I just hit that little button there and it shows me how much energy is left in the battery and we got three bars but what I've noticed is that this guy is getting pretty warm so I'm going to mount a heat sink on here too just to keep the uh, regulator icy a little cooler so if it, the rule of thumb is if it's too hot to touch with your finger for more than three seconds, it's too hot and it needs to be cooled down. So let's get that done. So I went ahead and mounted a little heat sink on here and I can touch it without burning my finger. So it uh, seems to be doing its job and the laptop is running off of the battery pack from Lowe's, the $10 battery pack. And I now have a usable laptop that I can take outside with me and it's not tethered to the wall anymore. So anyways, thanks for watching and if you liked the video, please like it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe. I have more videos coming and I'll see you on the next video.